What's poppin' air gunners? I'm Denny the Flat Broke Air Gunner and this is the Flat Broke Air Gunner Show and today we're gonna be doing a multifaceted show. It's gonna be a today in air gunning and it's gonna be an unveiling of what's under this. You wanna see what it is? Stick around, it's coming up next. <laughs> Welcome back, Air Gunners. Like I said, this is the Flat Broke Air Gunner Show, and we're going to be taking a look at something new. The channel's changing, and although you see a bunch of pistols behind me, I don't really do a whole lot of pistol stuff, but someone has donated this to me to give it away to a new shooter, and I figured while I have it, I would be a fool not to, to show it up on the channel. So, this is the... Sig Sauer M17. As you can see uh, by the beginning of the video, you know, I kind of did a spoiler and, and let you see what it was before I went and, and all that stuff. But it's, I'm just trying to have fun and make it a little more fun. We're going to be doing some shots with it. It's got a really cool CO2 setup that I'm going to go over. It's got a lever action uh, cocker thing that, that charges the CO2. Usually there's a little twist thing under there, but you can see the arm right there. And you can take the CO2 out of the gun to reload it and put it back in, and the CO2 still stays charged. This is really a, a different kind of CO2 gun than I've ever seen, and I'm really having fun with it. I just took it out of the box a couple days ago. We had a little bit of fun playing with it, and um, let a, a neighbor guy check it out who has already been gifted something, and it is a new shooter video that will be coming up in a few weeks. Um, but yeah, man, we're just uh, checking it out and having fun. We're going to be taking some shots here in a minute and going over it. It's got a, looks like a fixed, fixed rear sights, uh, mildly adjustable front sight. Looks like it could be slid side to side, but um, the grip, grippage is nice. It's got, you know, it's got some neat features. It's got full blowback action. Like I said, it's CO2. So, uh, stick around, man. We're going to take some shots and have some fun. Um, hopefully I can get someone to film the shots. If not, it's going to be a shot by shot kind of photo montage thing. Like I know normally do on today in air gunning. So hopefully uh, you're interested in something like this and you'll stick around once again, the Sig Sauer M17 shots coming up. Right now! All right, there you go, Air Gunners. That's the shots. It's the Sig Sauer M17. It's in 177 cal. It's a CO2 gun, as you can see. It's really neat. There's a little button right here that you push, and then the magazine comes out so that you can refill the magazine. There's a little trap door in the back, and it's belt-fed. It rotates around so you can uh, 
not worry about uh, blowing all your uh, CO2 while you're changing your ammo out. It's got a 20 shot capacity. We only shot 10 rounds because it's a it's a tedious process running back and forth while I shoot. And you guys don't want to watch a bunch of that anyways. You want to check out the meat and potatoes. And that's this right here. <laughs> it's really cool. The sights are very clear as you can see. I don't really want to point it into my own face because it'll probably flag my video. But they're they're pretty clean. Uh, I'll, I'll do better on the review video. Um, this gun is uh, a really fun to shoot. It's a blowback action and all that. So that always makes it neat. It weighs about the same as the real gun. Um, it absolutely 100% hates uh, Crossman Premier Piranha 10.5 grain ammo. It's uh, I guess this is just too heavy for the CO2 action. I'm going to attempt. I should have paid attention to that and shot a lighter weight pellet. Luckily, uh, my friend Hajimoto uh, suggested I pick up a high quality brass rod from my hardware store. Take a file and round it down so that it's smooth all the way around so it won't damage your barrel or your rifling. And then if anything gets uh, uh, cross-fed or double-fed, you just put it in there and slowly tap it down and you can push it right out. They came out. It was real simple fix. You just drop the magazine and then tap it back and uh, it went right back in and then it was fun. It's a, it's a fun gun. Uh, as with any brand new air gun, you're going to have a certain amount of a learning curve going on with with it and that's what I'm going through right now that's why we have an unveiling video so I can let you guys know all the fun and little things like that that I got to go in and out so you guys can see high quality videos like this <laughs> anyways I cracked myself up with being silly Hopefully you guys dig it. Uh, if you like the gun, stick around. We're going to have a whole more in-depth review of it coming up. And if you're thinking about getting one, hopefully that video will help sway you towards it or away from it, whichever uh, the video turns out to be. I'm not affiliated with Sig Sauer in any way. So, you know, if, if I, it's not a good gun and I don't like it and this jamming uh, situation persists, I'll be glad to let you guys know. So, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Not only does your viewership, but your friends truly means a lot to me always be a straight shooter always wear your shooting glasses when you're shooting stay fba for life my friends take care of yourselves out there i'll see you guys on the next video and god bless You want merch? We've got merch. All kinds of merch. We got Bradfink shirts. We got squirrel shirts. We got rat shirts. We got a stash of retro FBA straight lettering shirts. We've got decals. We've got beer koozies. If you don't get the merch, I can't help the kids. Don't let that weigh on your conscience, people. Get a hold of me at lordoftheink at yahoo.com. Lordoftheink at yahoo.com. That's lordoftheink at yahoo.com to pick up your merch. And I'll be glad to help you out so we can help out a kid. Thanks.